It's very frequently said that one of the things artworks do is not so much give us new knowledge or specific sorts of understanding, but rather open our minds to things that we haven't thought about. And this is a very common claim that's made not only by ordinary people, but also by scholars and artists themselves. Dr. Stacy Friend is a philosopher and pioneer in incorporating empirical research into philosophical debates. A recognized expert on the philosophy of fiction, she's recently turned her attention to film, bringing together a multidisciplinary team to examine a claim that hasn't yet been explored empirically, that movies can make people more open-minded. The grant is called Art Opening Minds, Imagination and Perspective in Film. What we're studying is whether or not watching films with certain features can enhance characteristics of open-mindedness. The study involves three different experimental setups. In each of them, we're manipulating a different feature of films. In the first study that we're doing, we're using the film Memento. Now, the original film that was theatrically released goes backwards in time. However, it's also possible to get on the DVD edition a version of the film in chronological order. And we're using this film to test the hypothesis that formal complexity might enhance characteristics associated with open-mindedness. The study of Memento in particular focuses on formal complexity, which is associated in film studies with defamiliarization. So making the familiar strange, that's the idea. And the idea of making the familiar strange is meant to prompt more cognitive effort, more thinking outside the box. Who is that? He knew me. In another study, we're using an edited segment of the movie Jackie Brown, and we're showing one group of participants, the segment of the movie in the original form, in which one sees multiple perspectives before the climactic scene. And we've edited a version of the film so that the other group sees everything from one perspective before they see the climactic scene. We're using eye tracking and heart rate monitoring so that when the two groups see the same last scene, we can tell whether or not the differences in perspectives make a difference to what they pay attention to. And finally, we will be doing a study about whether having realistic or fantastic content might get one to be more imaginative. Oh, we're going to get into this now. Excuse me. Philosophers have a tendency to make claims about what people learn from fictions or literature or art or film that are empirical claims. They're not just claims that the works have this potential, they're claims about how people can be improved, and they don't have an empirical foundation. So the idea of testing these questions is exciting from the point of view of a philosopher where we're normally thought of as only being in our armchairs and here we get a chance to find out if the claims we're making might turn out to be true. One of the reasons we're focusing on open-mindedness is because it simply hasn't been discussed in terms of measurement. When we conceptualize open-mindedness in relation to art, we give it quite a broad conception. So we're including things like creativity, the ability to imagine, openness to new experiences, openness to new evidence, cognitive flexibility, the transcendence of the self. Along all of these possible dimensions, we're trying to see whether engaging with films makes a difference.